everybody? Are you ready for some serious action? Because now we are going to build a tall tower. <gasps> oh, hey, like in the fairy tales, with princesses and stuff. Yeah, you can add princesses or anything you like. Cool! But first, let's make a work drawing. OK, we're going to start with a foundation, with pillars going up and up and up several floors. A restaurant on top, a flagpole and everything. First, we need to draw and cut out a few of the parts that we need to build the tower. You'll need a big piece of cardboard, a pencil and a ruler. Let's measure up and draw a rectangle. Cut the rectangle like this and then use it as a template, so it's easy to draw several exactly the same. You'll end up with a pile like this. While we're at it, let's make some bigger squares. Here, I made some of those too. Then we need some smaller part cut out from stuff like white paper or card. We need a flag, a clock, and three windows. It's good to ask an adult to help you with the cutting. Now I've got all the parts cut out. Put them to one side, because now we're going to start to build the tower. Shape! Then we need to build a whole bunch of building modules looking like this. Oh, look at this! This is the central block in your tower. It's one of the small cardboard squares with four toilet rolls glued on. To build a tower, we need lots of these. If you want to, you can draw an X to place the rolls at the same place every time. The best way to get lots of glue on the rolls is to dip them in a dish filled with glue. Then they'll stick properly. When you've made several like this, dip all four rolls at once. Then glue the blocks on top of each other, as high as you want. Look at these I've made. Now, let's use a pizza box as the foundation for the tower, so it doesn't tip over. Get some glue. And stick the first blocks on. Then put some glue on top of the toilet rolls and stick one of the biggest squares on. That makes a good viewing platform halfway up the tower. Let's continue to build. More blocks. More glue on top. The last square, then glue the smallest box on top. That's your Swish restaurant with panoramic view. On the roof of the restaurant we need a spare or a radio mast, something like that. Easy to do, take two cardboard rolls and tape them together. We're going to put a flagpole right at the top. That will need the proper base. 
Let's make two cardboard circles, a little bit bigger than the circles of the cardboard roll. Like this. Now glue them together to make a disc. Next, poke a small hole with something pointy. Now you should be able to push a pencil in. This will stay in really well. The strip of paper we made earlier becomes a flag. Put some glue on and fold it around the pencil. I'll draw a doodle face on the flag. But you can draw whatever you like. Now it's time to use the other parts we've cut out. You can draw window frames, or curtains on the windows, and perhaps an old-fashioned clock. Dab some glue on the back and stick them on. Now, glue the flag to the radio mast. the radio mast to the tower. Oh, look at this tall tower. It's taller than me. Look at that. Paint. And now we can draw and paint up all the details. Start off by painting the grass below the tower green. Next, dip your brush in a warm red color and paint some decorative stripes around the restaurant. At the top of the mast and on the viewing platform halfway up the tower. I think we should put some windows on the tower. Imagine walking up and up a spiral staircase inside the tower and each time you go around you can look out of the window. Finally, we need some people living in the tower. How about the night? Some red Indians? A horse? And some other random figures. <laughs> How cool is this now? Let's wash it again. First, draw some rectangles. Then, make some other parts for the tower from white paper. After that, make blocks and stack them on top of each other. Then a flagpole. Then draw and glue them onto the restaurant. At the top, place the mast and the flagpole. Then, paint the grass some nice stripes and windows. Finally, add everyone who lives in the tower. You can also turn your tower into a toilet roll holder. Just put the tower on the floor in your bathroom and put a roll of toilet paper on top. Right, box. what kind of ideas do you have for us today? You can use the same techniques to make other cool buildings. Like this sky-high radio tower. Or 
this amazing Eiffel Tower. Or how about this? An oil rig. Sorted. Simple. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. There are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. Box yourself! Well, uh, that was an okay video, I guess. Uh, but anyway, there is so much more. You can't stop the craft train.